Ladies and gentlemen, here's another teacher showing up drunk in class. But just think about this, y'all. They're talking about arming teachers. These teachers are already unhinged without weapons. You can just type in teacher and just look at all of the horrible things these teachers are doing in these classrooms, what they're doing with students, all kinds of heinous acts. But we're supposed to feel comfort in these same crazy prison to pipeline teachers and trust them with a gun. Please. Oh boy. Second grade Souter County teacher arrested on suspicion of DUI while teaching. No charges filed. Mm, mm, mm. A second grade teacher in Souter County Elementary School was arrested on suspicion of DUI, showing signs of intoxication while in her classroom, according to the school district. The Souter County District Attorney's Office said the teacher has since been released from custody as their investigation continues. Deputies were dispatched to Neustro Elementary School, and this is in Live Oak around 8, 19 a.m. So girl was drunk first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, 8, 19 a.m., and your butt is already intoxicated? for reports of a school staff member under the influence of drugs or alcohol. At the school, deputies made contact with the 57-year-old Wendy Munson, who was actively teaching students in her classroom. The sheriff's office found that Munson showed signs of being under the influence, and she was arrested on suspicion of DUI after a failed sobriety test and video footage that showed her driving to the school. So they saw signs of her being drunk on a video when she was on the road driving. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. She could have killed a child walking to school. So anyway, uh, Souter County DA's office, uh, there was not yet sufficient evidence to file charges. Once the investigation is completed, we will evaluate all evidence and determine what, if any charges, we can prove. And those charges will be filed, the DA office said in a statement. Meanwhile, parents of the students in her class have been notified of the incident by uh, the principal <clears throat> and uh, a long-term substitute will be the classroom uh, teacher until further notice. So uh, the principal, her name is, uh, oh, and this may not be a her, it may be a him, Baljita Helen. So anyway, uh, KCRA, three reached out to the principal and board members with questions about Munson and her history at the school and in the district, but have not heard back. So Travis Reed of Neustro Elementary School, a parent who said his child was inside of Munson's classroom, he said he was infuriated when he heard it was his child's teacher who was arrested. We trust our kids to these people to take care of them and keep them safe. And if you're drunk, you cannot keep anyone safe, in my opinion, Reed said. He also wants to see more communication from the school officials on the incident and what happens next. It seems like a hush order here at the school, he said. They don't want to tell anyone anything. Yeah, well, that's usually what they do. So what is the worst that's going to happen? She just gets fired and life goes on. As you know, 
when these incidents occur, they always want the easy route for people like Munson when she don't even deserve it. But y'all just think about this. They are actively in many school districts around the country because of all of the mass shootings. And we know there's always school shootings every single year here in America. They're talking about arming people like Munson here. I mean, you can't trust these people without arms. We see the stories. We see kids getting assaulted. We see them using the N-word in the class. We see them going overboard, disciplining children. Because y'all remember that teacher that took the kid out in the hallway and started beating on the kid. I mean, look, there's a story out where a teacher lined uh, the kids up in their class and and beat the kids. There's a story out like that. So y'all trust them with guns? Hell no, hell no. I wouldn't trust anybody like Munson here with a gun to save my own mama's life. I would not trust her. Hell no. But y'all tell me what you think about this story. This is a shame that this is what children are dealing with every day. And y'all, I remember the drunk teachers at my school. We had a couple of them that were drunks. And I remember who they were too. One, they just left him alone because he was coming close to retirement. And people would walk in his class and he would be face down snoring in class and too drunk to even teach. Do y'all know they let that man retire with no problem? And he was probably more drunk than he was sober. And I remember him, he was a junior high school teacher. His name was Mr. Costco. And that man stayed drunk. He stayed drunk. And they didn't do nothing about it. Oh, well, he's about to retire in a year. Yeah, y'all got an excuse for everything. But please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.